Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In this video, we will discuss about uh, another important keyword that we typically use in Swift that is defer. Now, before we get into what defer means, let's try to understand what typically happens in any application. Let's assume that you are trying to do three or four different kind of tasks. For doing these different kind of tasks, you might be using one or the other kind of resources. So probably first you need to access that resource, then do the task and after completing your task, you need to close the resource. When I say resource, it could be a file, it could be a remote database, it could be a cloud storage, anything for that matter. So what typically happens is before you do a task one, I am going to write something like access for resource for doing task one. And once you are done with the task one, then you basically close the resource after completing task one and you pretty much do the same thing for all remaining tasks that you will be doing every time you want to do a particular task you will ask for the one or the other kind of resource i mean if you need and then gain the access for that particular resource typically using a dot open or dot register using any such api methods that the framework provides you after that you typically invoke close after doing your work so this is fairly a very common scenario in any application development so now if you run this the output would be basically access for resource one then doing the task and then closing the task this is what you typically see now instead of doing the close the resource after completing a particular task every time we can put all of them at end well you can copy paste them at the end otherwise what you can also do is use very useful keyword called as defer defer is nothing but a code block that you can put anywhere in a function so anything that you write inside that defer block will get executed at the end just before the function exits say for example if error is thrown if the function has to return somewhere in between because of certain condition irrespective of that just before the code returns from that particular function anything that you write inside the defer block will get executed so just to demonstrate the idea i will write defer keyword and then you can just copy paste all the statements that you want to execute at the end just before the function returns so i am going to just copy paste these statements where i am closing the resource once a particular task is done so that just before i return from this particular function i am basically closing the resource and now if i run this code you will observe that you are completing your work and then just before the function is exited it executes all the statements that you had written in the defer block and just to emphasize the defer block that i had written is at the starting of the function so even though it is written at the starting of the function it doesn't get executed it only gets executed just before the function exit happens so that is the whole idea behind using defer so this is quite similar to a finally block you might have encountered in java anything that you want to make sure that gets always executed just before the function exits you can write that in the defer block of the function in the next video we will understand uh, another important keyword called as guard so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye